Welcome back to the shooting channel and today we've got a slightly different gun. We've got the ATA Black Game 20 bore. Now ATAs are generally probably the cheapest gun or what I would say the cheapest new gun that you want to be even looking at. They're always cheaper but I'm going to be completely honest you either need to stick to the ATAs or move up a couple of hundred pounds or a hundred pounds and go to the yield it's but I just thought I would I would have a look at the ATA and just see what we all think about the ATA if anyone has got one of these please comment below we'd love to hear from you again comes in a cardboard box with its ATA socks comes with five multi chokes I would say like I said with the 12 bore, it does, you, I can think of a, an Italian brand very similar to this. So they've kind of copied the, the action out of, out of this so-called Italian brand. Put it together. It doesn't have ventilated ribs. Safety catch is selective. Got a recoil pad on the back of it. Again, like Italian guns, this is made in Turkey, but like Italian guns, it's a little bit flatter in the comb. So if you're looking for a 20 bore for your wife or your daughter, somebody that well, doesn't weigh a great deal, this is about six and a half pounds. The ATA is well worth a look on that. Pistol grip, again, not too big a pistol grip for somebody that's got small hands, very nice. Machine checkering, comes with a reasonably nice piece of wood on it as well comes with its red dots, dot sights. You can get different colours for them if you want. Gold trigger. Again, a bit like the, the yield it. A lot of people are liking this black action just with the name of the gun on the side. It looks a bit more stylish. It's the new way of doing stuff. So it's the black action, the black furniture on here. And it's just very, very subtle. You've not got your name in your face, basically. The only thing I would say compared to something like the Yield It's, this is 720 pounds retail, and it does come in a cardboard box. A lot of its competitors, most of them now come in a, a nice ABS case. So that's the only thing I would say against it. Just so everyone can keep stuff together. It's just nice to have a nice ABS case. The fore end, they've actually made it quite. So when your hands go here, they've put these little bits in here and they've, they've made it rounded here. So it's comfortable when you hold the fore end here like this. And when you mount the gun, they've balanced it well in the hand. So even though it is a cheap gun, they've kind of taken a little bit out of the more expensive guns and, and thought about the balancing of the gun. Again, if I take it apart, you can see that it's a rounded action as opposed to a square action like a lot of the browning and yield it. Does everyone agree with me that they, when they buy a gun, they like it in a nice ABS case? Put down in the comments, put if you like it, if you like a cardboard box or if you like an ABS case. It's just if you're paying sort of 700 pounds upwards, I just think the presentation kind of goes everywhere. That's my only thing. But it's the gun, it's actually a really well balanced gun. And that is the ATA 20 ball. I hope you enjoyed this film. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.